Welcome to Football for Fun. Please hit the subscribe button below the video so that you can support the channel and we can crank out more content. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome to my video on my Dark Horse Super Bowl contenders. Now, to preface, these are teams that I believe could be sleeper teams. I'm not predicting them to go to the Super Bowl. In fact, I may not predict them to go to the playoffs. However, I do believe with these teams, there is something there. And I will just say, don't be shocked to see them in the conference championship. Now, before we go on to my actual Dark Horse speculations, here are some teams I believe a lot of people would be picking for this category and why I'm not picking them. Some I genuinely don't believe in. Others, I may see them as Dark Horse contenders, but I feel like they're pretty popular. I think the Broncos a lot of people would pick because of the Russell Wilson and Sean Payton connection. And honestly, I think there's a good chance of that working, but feel like that's going to be pretty popular. Same sort of thing with the Bears, you know, uh, just with the move that Ryan Poles recently made. I'm not even convinced that Justin Fields is a Super Bowl quarterback. Detroit Lions, again, I think they're very popular. People seem to think of them as, like, you know, one of the premier NFC teams now. But, you know, I just don't think they're quite ready yet. And Dallas Cowboys, yeah. All right, so let's move on to my actual teams in no particular order. The Cleveland Browns, this may surprise some people, this may not if you actually think about it a little bit. Deshaun Watson, before he was suspended, when he was playing, he was one of the better quarterbacks in the league. He was like top three, top four, top five-ish range, and just look up Deshaun Watson Texans highlights. He was just spectacular, and you know, he had reasons for not playing as well. You know, we all assume that he didn't play that well last season because just missing a year and a half of football with all the lawsuits and things like that. You know, he'll have a full off season, full preseason, and get to play all 17 games, assuming he's healthy. And so if he can just be as magical or close to as magical as he was with the Houston Texans, then, I mean, the Cleveland Browns, they have like, you know, they have Amari Cooper and they have traded for Elijah Moore. You know, they, they have a solid defense. They have a very good offensive line, good running game, obviously. You know, I could very well see the Browns in the AFC Championship. In fact, I'm probably going to pick them to make the playoffs, so stay tuned for that. Moving on to the next team, this is an NFC North team. It's not the team you think, trust me. The Green Bay Packers. Now, this might be a little bit more of an insane pick. You're probably thinking, you know, they, they missed the playoffs with Aaron Rodgers. What's going on? Well, Aaron Rodgers is declining, and... This is assuming that they move on from Rodgers. And I'd even say if they keep Aaron Rodgers, I'd still have them as a dark horse Super Bowl contender. Now, would they win it? Probably not. But the thing is, once you get Jordan Love to become your full-time starter, you know, you still have Christian Watson. Uh, yeah, I will admit they don't have very many weapons. But I do think that the Packers, they have a good defense and they can focus a lot on their run game. And so if they can play smash mouth football, get to like 9 and 8, 10 and 7, they could make a run, you know. If Jordan Love is starting, I wouldn't really count them out necessarily. Moving on, the Pittsburgh Steelers, you know, I believe they have a really good defense. TJ Watt missed a bunch of games last season, and so if he can be healthy for the entire season, then that defense is just nasty. TJ Watt, uh, Cam Hayward, Minka Fitzpatrick, you know, Kenny Pickett is developing, and who knows if Kenny Pickett he could get really good because, I mean, you know, remember Joe Burrow, he had a jump from year one to year two. And so, I don't know, it could be the same type of thing. Mike Tomlin's a really reputable coach. They have some weapons on offense, and we will just see how this goes. And my last team, who I believe could be Super Bowl contenders in the right circumstances, the Carolina Panthers. Yes, my co-host's favorite team, and... We've discussed the logic behind this type of thing in detail previously. They have a really good defense, a really good offensive line, a reputable head coach, and they have the one overall pick, so they should, in theory, be getting a good quarterback. And, yeah, they're also stockpiling on offense and free agency, and so I do think, you know, this team, I'm not necessarily going to pick them to go to the Super Bowl, but they could have most, if not all, the pieces to make a run, so... Let me know what you think of in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe. Help us get to 100 subscribers. Thank you for 50, by the way. And 
I'll see you for the next one.